What is up, M Average? Welcome back to another very exciting video. Freaking Jack today, got my main man Dab Master right behind me. He's out of school. Summer break, doing summer vacation things. We're like, hey, it's it's an awesome time that you're out of school. We can get out and do some fishing. We might as well try to catch the biggest fish here, Dad Gum. Life. That's the goal today. We're gonna try to catch the biggest fish of Max's entire life. And we're gonna do that using a bait we've never used before. What are we gonna use for bait? Jello. We're gonna use jello. For bait, I know it sounds crazy. We never used it before, but we got some some inklings. We read online a way you can use Jello for bait. It's kind of similar to a way we've used Kool Aid in the past, uh, and, and we're gonna get out to the lake, uh, meet up with one of your favorite MFers as well. Uh, he's got a fire a fire spillway um, that probably gave away who we're going to meet right now. Uh, but anyways, he's got a spot where he thinks we can catch Max's biggest fish ever. First stops can be the store. We gotta go get some Jello. We don't just keep that laying around the house apparently. Uh, second step will be. Catch a Slauchosaur. You down? Let's do it. All right, ultra quick grocery store trip commencing right now. Step one, we need to find the jellos. Step two, we need to find something to put the jellos on. What flavor jello are we going with, dude? What, what do you think will be key? Uh, maybe cherry. Cherry? Yeah, we use cherry, uh, cherry Kool Aid, so I'm thinking cherry jello. Probably the ticket. Raspberry. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, you can get the off brand even. Gelatin dessert. Ah, oh, that's too expensive. 59 cents? You brought your money, right? Alright, let's try. Should we try strawberry or cherry? Oh, cherry. Cherry? We, got, we better use name brand just for the sake of the video. I think we can get away with the small one. Let's do the small pack. Yeah. Cherry? Papa. Oh, Jello required. Step two, we are going to the meat department. Here they are. That's entirely too many chickens. <laughs> we do not need that many chickens. We need like one. One chicken breast. They don't sell Maybe one. Like one of these? Oh, chicken tenderloins. That's probably a good idea, actually. Tiny little one. Max, good call. You're smart. All right, chicken tenderloins. It is. Are these better than breasts or worse? It's like they're already cut for us. I like that. Yeah. Okay, we acquired everything. We have one last final step. We need to marinate these guys. So we're going to throw them in a bag. Max's tender chickens. I don't think we need all these, to be honest. We're just going to throw like half of them in a bag. Deal? Deal. Yellow. How much jello do you put in? Do you know? I don't know. I think the precise measurement amount of a decent amount is what we need. No, 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 no. Think that's a decent amount? Yeah. Let's get them a little bit more for their money. Oh. Gotta mix them up a little bit, bud. People in the parking lot are probably watching this like, what is wrong with those people? But I'm used to it, Max. I get that a lot. We're doing more. Pretty good. Pretty red. We might need to add a little bit of water to that or something, but I think we are good to go. All right, next stop at the lake. We got an hour drive. Let's do it. I can't tell you how proud it makes me every time you put those on, Max. Brings a tear to my eye. No, there's not very many ticks in here. Well, you got your shitting boots on. It'll happen, Max. Max loves those things. Now we're using titties. Unless that doesn't work, of course, and then yes, we will. Max, you can tell this right here is a spillway because the way it is. I found Jonathan Spillway. Hello. That's a spillway. You can tell it's because it's spilling way down there. That's why it's called a spillway. Max, this appeared to be a spillway. Yes, I know. All right, just got down to the spillway and it's time to uh, drop the hammer. Hornstash says this is the spot dreams are made of. Conditions are not conducive really to uh, catching anything. Max is wiggling his butt against mine back there. I don't know what that's all about. But uh, yeah, we got bluebird conditions. But Joshua says in the abyss down there, dinosaurs. There's a fish, wait for 
I'm trying to get this boy his personal best, and I'm gonna do something real stupid after he does that. Yeah, just, you should see what this idiot's idea is. It's gonna be fantastic. It's probably gonna be the coolest thing we've ever tried to do before, honestly, but uh, <laughs> you have to check his video out a little bit later. But we're, you'll see it on this one, but not everything. It's, you'll see the idea anyway, but uh, yeah, we're gonna get rigged up with our titties and uh, heave them to there. Can I get a you bet? <laughs> you bet? He won't even look at the camera. Look at him. He's so shy. <laughs> and I got titties. Oh, there it is, Max. There's your tenderloin. Titty is going on. Titty? Wait, our tender tenderloins aren't titties. Tenderloins are like, I don't even know. Chicken penis. <laughs> Max, here's your chicken ween. How's it taste? All right, here it goes. Or plow. And the water is now red dye. Yep, all the water in here just turned red. Mm -hmm. All right, dude. Your drag's loose as balls, okay? okay? Oh, did you leave your Mick Ultra down here, Max? No. That's your Mick Ultra, isn't it? Oh, all right, Max deployed his today. Maybe, we don't know if it's today. Why don't you today. sit, why don't you sit right there? Today, uh... Are you ready to hold on? Today. Yeah. Yeah, something's gonna be angry at you. Just a fair warning. Once you hold it tight, your drag's pretty loose. One bites, which will probably happen before too long. Why don't you just reel into them with the drag loose and then I'll tighten it for you. Does that sound good? And don't do that. Oh, I already got a bite. Yep. Here, hold yours for a second, bud. If I get one on, you're taking it. He's swimming with it, I think. Yeah, he is. Max, reel yours in quick. Real quick. You might be snagged, bro. Yep, reel. Yeah, it's real. Yeah. He's got it. I just literally threw it in there. Max, you ready? Yeah. Put, put your pole down. So it's out of the way. So just reel into him. Got it. There you go, Max. Okay, we got it. We're gonna have to fight him. I can't bite it. <laughs> that's a that's a heavy rod too. Let me let me loosen this a little bit for you. Get him, Max. All right, so we're gonna we'll hold it up there. Tuck that under your arm. Put your other hand right there. There you go. We just started. All right, so let him run when he needs to run, okay? So he wants to go down, so try to maybe pull up a little bit. And then reel when you go down. I'm gonna tighten the hair. Yeah, it ain't gonna break. So then reel down. See, so he's pulling. Maybe try putting it on his belly. Yeah, maybe. I don't even know. You feeling okay? Yep. Just let him fight with your rod up there, though, okay? Max is feeling the wrath. Max's biggest fish of all time. Hey, make sure the rod's bent, okay? So what do you... There you go. So pull up with, with this hand. You've gained, like, nothing on him. All right, now reel down, and then you lift up. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> it might be, it might be a whale. Do you got a whale, dude? Real? You gotta fight him. I'm gonna make you tired. Why don't you put? It, why don't you spread your legs apart a little bit? Put it on your belly. Belly or like like that? Yeah. No, not, not the wing. <laughs> He's pulling. You gotta get the leverage. There you go. Go down and then lift up. Put it, put it on your belly like that so you can lift the rod against it. Down and then lift up. There you go, Kick his ass. Kick his ass, sea bass. Dude, it's so big. <laughs> so much struggle in his eyes. Lift up. Oh, you got, oh. It, you got it. Bend the rod, bend the rod, bend the rod. There you go. That way when he takes off, 
He's pulling not straight. You don't want him to pull straight like that. You want to lift up, have it like that. Can you put it on your tummy? Yeah. Like that? There you go. Now put your other hand up here maybe. There you go. There it is. Yeah, you haven't even moved him, bud. I think it's small. I don't think it's small. There he is! Now reel down, reel down quick. Drop your rod, reel down, and then pull up again. There we go. Now we're Yep. We got oil cooking for sure. Keep doing that, but don't let it go slack like that, bud. You got you to keep it tight. What do you think, bro? Is it big? Yeah, I think so. I got it closer. He's coming in now. Don't, don't let it go straight, buddy. Get it on your belly. Get on your belly again. Be the only way you get leverage. There you go. He's still pulling hard, isn't he? Mm -hmm. It's taking drag. Can't. You're good. Reel down. You're good. We're getting him close, aren't we? Oh, see, it's just pulling drag now because he weighs so much. Reel down. Lift up. You're about to see him. Oh. Ooh. Large, he's pretty big man oh he's just pulling drag now let me tighten it for you a little bit he's pulling hard isn't he i got the shirt dang you got a big one. oh is it big whoa <laughs> yeah what was right there's See the titty there that he is okay, Max. is that a babe i'll grab one of the liners bring you up yeah he wants you to go with it doesn't he he's gonna try to yank you in yeah dude your belly. Now lift up with that arm under here. Go easy Good job, on. bro. Oh my, did you see the size of that? Thing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. Get him, bro. Bring him this way, buddy. You're good. The bee ain't gonna hurt you. Oh, yeah. Taking shots. Yes. Yeah, bud. He got it down too. Yeah, he does. Good job, bro. Look at that. Look at that thing. <laughs> <laughs> you did it, bud. Nice fish, man. Good work, bro. That thing is giant, dude. Yeah, no kidding, it is. So big. It's so weird. That's your biggest fish ever, isn't it? Yeah, I like the whiskers. You like them? <laughs> <laughs> you got him, dude. You got nice him. fish. What do you think about that? Good That's your biggest ever. <laughs> yes. Let me save him. We just me. started. <laughs> dude, what do you think about that? Woo! Did we come to the right spot? Yeah, that thing was huge. That's like biggest fish ever by a lot. Josh, what's that one? Probably like eight, nine pounds? Maybe ten. Maybe ten? Yeah. Hell yeah. Begging. Dude, we just got here. I was like, uh, my pole's in, got one. This long. So big. Joshua is going to put a GoPro on the catfish, tie a line to it so he can get his GoPro back. But he's going to release the catfish into the puddle. Into the puddle with the GoPro on. I know it looks like torture, folks, but this is actually good for the catfish. Yes. <laughs> this is the best He day actually of his requested life. this. Dude, that is like perfect. You're going to have a hard time getting that back. You might have to catch him again. Chase, sorry, you're not going to get it <laughs> I like the faith, bro. Thanks, Max. <laughs> Thanks for the the good measure. Is that 65? Yeah. All right. Should I just send him in, even though it's wiggly? Send him in, homie. There it is. There it is. All send him home. Got their got, uh, got 65 pound braid tied to the GoPro, so hopefully I don't lose it. But if I do, I guess I do. We're gonna send it in for research purposes. He's been out for a little while, but. I had everything ready, so it didn't take very long. He's doing good. Good job to bro for catching him. Now we're gonna dump him in. Hopefully I get my camera back. Let's see how this plays out. Goodbye, GoPro. There it goes. Oh, Hopefully God. it's recording too. But oh I'll... God, no, he didn't turn it on. Oh no. No. There you go, Billy. Go on, buddy. Good luck, go show us what's down there. I love you. So Josh is going to let him swim around for a while and then he's got his, his line 65 pound braid tied around his camera. So he's either going to pull it back and the camera is going to come off 
or the camera's gonna break off his line and be gone, or the catfish is gonna get snagged, in which case the camera will also be gone. Or, what you're gonna have to go check out on his channel is it if works. it's a success. And he actually went down there, and the cool thing is Josh has fished here quite a bit, and he thinks there's like 20 or 30 big ones, plus we don't even know what else, big walleye, big bass. We don't know what else lives down there, but go check out his video, I'll link it down below, so you can go check out and see what kind of footage actually came back. It's gonna be a fun experiment. Yeah, I'd say that might work. We got an inbred jig with a green sunfish on the back. <laughs> I like this spot. This spot. We just had to fail once in order for it to be worth it. Uh, that might just be current. You lost it. Someone was got, got one, Max. Reel that in. It's big. Reel that, buddy. No, you're pulling, you're pulling, you're pulling. Yeah, reel that pole in first, and then you can fight this one. <laughs> I don't know if I'm on the bait pole. <laughs> it hit it on the fall. Dude, sick. I'd say just pop it. All right, Max, get in here, bud. This, oh this one's much larger. Do you want to sit or do you want to stand? I think I might sit. <clears throat> All right, sit down. Hold on tight. Put the rod butt there. Put your other hand there. There you go. Now just hold it there. He's going to, this is lighter line, so just hold it there for now. Now lift up. There you go, now reel down. I know, it's on the weird side. Your dad taught you wrong. <laughs> He's just, you don't want to try to reel when that's clicking. All right, now go. Now drop your pole and reel. There you go. Now pull back. Now pull up. Reel down. Drop and reel. He snags. Oh no, nope. He's good. He's big. It's, it's bigger. Whoa! Yep, let yep. him go. Let, let him go. go. All right, now reel. Now pull him up. Pull it up. There you go. Money, Max. Reel. Reel, bud. Oh, don't reel. Yeah. <laughs> pull. Pull up. Now reel down. Don't hold the line when you pull back. Yep, just pull back on the rod, okay? It won't be the end of the world if you lose him, but you don't lose him if you do that. Reel down. Keep a bend on the rod. Let's the rod pull up. It up. There you go. Max is hooked into a wicked tuna. <laughs> yeah. They reel fast. Good work, man. Strong! That's a strong one, Max! You think it's a bluegill? Uh, a 5,000 pound bluegill, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The bug's on my rod. It's okay. The bug's on Josh's rod. Like that. Bigger than the last one. You You're good. Know. You're good. Hold the rod right, and I'll get the rest of them for you. Get that rod tucked under your, under your belly. Quick, quick, quick. Got the rod? Yes. Work, man. We're just fighting like a pro. So keep in mind, this is a little tiny jig head. Yeah. A light line. He's had a catfish pull. That makes too much sense. I had to give him the light action dangle. They're so mean. They're crazy. What do you think, Max? I think he's angry still. <laughs> yeah. Come on, bud. I just don't want to pull too hard that little hook. Yeah. Yes! I got him! Um, you did it, Max! You did it, Max! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Joshua. On the old. Jake On the head. old tete. Here you go, bud. I'll take this. You gonna hold this one too, or are you just gonna fist bump him? Fist bump. Nah, you're gonna hold this one. It's even bigger than the last one, I think. Max, what are your thoughts about maybe your biggest catfish Please ever? Grab this. <laughs> That's his Please thought. grab this. How big do you think he is? 90,000 pounds. I'd say you're pretty close. Minus about 89,990. 89, <laughs> <laughs> probably about 10 pounds, bud. 10 about pounds. a 10 pounder again. You're good, dude. Look. Oh, you had to hit a dab. There you go. Right, now put your hand underneath there. We don't want to drop it. Just want to be nice. Set him in the water and then and then hold on to him for a little bit and let him go. When he, when he kicks away, he'll go. There he goes. 
Ah, give me some. Yes. How's the walk back? Pretty fun. <laughs> Don't even. Okay, <laughs> okay just got home with the dab master. Absolutely amazing time on the water. Max got his two biggest fish of his life, biggest catfish, and then the second one, I don't know, might have been bigger. Josh is the catfish weight expert. We both thought probably about 10 pounds on both of those amazing. Dude, what did you freaking think about today? It was super great. Super great? Mm -hmm. Had a bad ass time? Yep. Yep. What, what's going on here? You, you got one sock and no shoes. <laughs> Max had a little issue where he uh, fell in the mud on the way out, but totally worth it. I, he was worried that he was like in trouble or something because he had mud all over him. I was like, we went catfishing. If you don't got mud on you, you can be more, more worried about that. You got problems if you don't got mud all over you, right? Right. Anyways, uh, we had an awesome time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of Max, comment down below and uh, yeah, go subscribe. We actually have another Max video, I think, coming in really, really hot for me, for the dad master. Catch you soon. I'm out of here. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like.